evaluate the limit. So we have limit as x approaches negative 1 of x squared minus 1 over x plus 1. Um, can we plug in negative 1 for x right now and be done with this? No, we can't. And why is that? Because if we do, we're going to get 0 in the denominator. And that's we can't do that for now. So we're going to have to simplify this first, see if stuff cancels out, and then plug in negative 1 for x. So right here, the top, x squared minus 1, simplifies into x plus 1 times x minus 1. Hopefully you guys remember differences, difference of squares. Uh, it works just like, for example, m squared minus n squared, which simplifies into m plus n times m minus n. So same thing here. So x plus 1 times x minus 1. If we were to FOIL this, we would get right back where we started. And of course, the denominator is just going to rem remain the same, x plus 1. And now we can actually just cancel these guys out. And we have a lim as x approaches negative 1 of x minus 1. Because now we, we got rid of the x plus 1 on the bottom, uh, in the bottom of, the, of the, the fraction, we can actually replace x for negative 1 and get rid of the limit altogether. So negative 1 minus 1, negative 2. And that is the limit. Uh, hopefully that made good sense. And I got similar questions right here on this website.